you know, I had to beg my wife to move down here from Missouri, and ever since then, she says, don't, well, you know, I don't want to go anywhere else, so <laughs> I think she's hooked. I definitely like it. Yeah, so this is the job site uh, we call the Villages. Currently, uh, getting ready for brick paving sections. It starts there, you know, in the office. We'll get a contract, get a set of plans. I grew up, my family did residential construction. You know, growing up as a kid, what kid doesn't like big dozers, big track hose, like heavy equipment? I think people view construction as just kind of lagging behind in the technology sector, but it's not your typical farmhand jumped on a piece of machinery and just old school. It's definitely a lot more technology nowadays. With the labor shortage, the smaller companies that haven't embraced technology are getting left behind. What has set Emerset apart from other contractors is our ability to adapt to technology. Every day these machines are collecting data. It sends all that data to the cloud, it's processed and dumped into here every single day. So how can we use this data? So this week we were invited out by Emory SAP to visit and discuss and also to show where Kamatsu is currently at in the world of tech with our uh, machines and our software. With Kamatsu Smart Construction and our suite of software, we really have a lot of different avenues to gain access to data. I definitely use Smart Construction Remote daily, from uploading the latest design to troubleshooting machine control out in the field. You know, you, you got a guy just call you up on the phone, hey, I'm having trouble. You know, remote in, see exactly what that machine's doing. We have GPS receivers and controllers. Along with that, in machines, we have integrated sensors that give us the elevations of buckets and blades, and they apply all this together to give us a location on Earth that tells where the blade should be. You push the auto button, and the system takes over for you and places that implement correctly on the ground for you. You don't need that guy on the dozer or the track hoe that had 20 years of experience because now all of a sudden he jumps on there and he's got automatics, so it's, hey, this machine's pretty much gonna build it for you. Like, we just need somebody in there. Companies like Emory Sapp & Sons, when they adapt technology across the board, whether it's GPS, office software, they tend to jump forward because technology is meant to help you be more productive. And I can see a lot of companies across the country who are just, you know, doing old school. They tend to lag behind because they're not efficient. And with Emory Sapp and Sons being willing to explore new technology, I think they'll keep going ahead. Efficiency doesn't mean that we're moving at twice the speed, but maybe we're not going over something three times. You know, we do it one time, we hit it accurate one time at, you know, maybe the same speed that we was doing 20 years ago, or maybe just even a little bit slower. But if you can avoid, you know, doing things multiple times, it's picking up production efficiency and things are getting done at the end of the day, faster.